All right, so I found a little bit of time. So I'm gonna be working on the Civic a little bit today and I'm gonna be pulling the engine in it. So first kind of what I wanna look at before I get anything taken off is I wanna look at the axle angles. See, I can see this one and it's kind of pointed towards the back of the car a little bit. And it's something I want to try to replicate if possible with the, the J series. So right there, that one's pointed back a little bit. So again, just, you know, little things I want to take note of while I'm doing this so that I can, you know, easily, I say easily, all of it's going to be hard, but um, so that I can, you know, have mental note of how things are supposed to go and how this car wants to function and you know, try to replicate that with the J-Series in there. So I don't know, we're just gonna start. One of the things that I'm gonna run into for sure is that it has these mounts right here that connect it to the subframe, I guess you could call it. And I don't remember which one it was, but one of them I stripped because it's just like a metal stud into rubber, tightened it just a little bit too much and the stud spun. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. I may just have to cut them out in half or something because I'm not going to use these. So it may just be the best way to go about it. Yeah, it's kind of where I am at this point. So probably before I do much mechanical type of stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and remove most of the front end parts. Uh, I don't really need them while I'm pulling the engine that just get in the way. Definitely the hood. Uh, that really gets in the way when you're trying to pull the engine. So I'm going to remove that, the grill, the headlights. And then I'll show you something I did on the headlight bezels because mine are broken. But as you can see, they're both in there. So I did something that kind of helps one of them stay in there that was completely broken off. So luckily I have at least one screw hole for my headlight bezel, but over here, both the tabs are broke off. So I just ran some screws into the uh, existing tabs and, uh, and there's a hook right there behind the fender. And you gotta be careful of them because there's metal, so it'll snap off that plastic. So I plan on like trying to epoxy these and make them more uh, permanent. So I don't have to worry about them breaking near as much as I currently do. But but yeah, I got the grill off, got one headlight bezel. Now I'm gonna be working on the other and uh, yeah, just making progress. And right here is a 12 volt ignition source. Uh, it's currently going to the choke, but I can probably use that for something else whenever the J series is in there. And there's also a 12 volt uh, going to the ignition coil. Um, and a ground, I believe. No, maybe just 12 volt that I'll be able to use. So again, just making note of stuff so that you know I know what I have to work with whenever I go back together. Again, just for mental note, uh, like I just took this wire off and I was making this video so I can remember it. And that was the coolant temp sensor was uh, this wire that I'm gonna be setting over here. Since I also have the same color as the uh, oil pressure switch so yeah just you know you want to try to make note of little things like this whenever you're going to be removing stuff i mean luckily this car only has like a few wires going to the engine but it's always good to have an idea of what what's supposed to go where whenever you go back together and as i'm getting the axle here one thing i noticed is how close the cv is to this uh part of the body i guess and uh that'll definitely get helped out just by the axle not being so long. So the J-Series axle will probably just be like right there. And the only reason it's this close is because of how long it has to go all the way to the transmission over there. So since the J-Series axles are a lot shorter, we should have more clearance, at least in that aspect. All right, so I'm probably gonna call that a stopping point today. Uh, I got just about everything disconnected. Got the axles pulled out. And I guess I can disconnect the shift linkage. I'll do that real quick before I leave. But other than that, uh, pretty much just have to drop this little subframe thing and pull the engine mount. It should be ready to pull out. And since I'm not pulling out tonight, I'm not going to bother. So next time. All right, here's the Civic and we've got the engine mostly out. It's coming out surprisingly smoothly. So. All right, so as you can see, we got it out. Now the next video is going to be where I'm cutting the uh, frame rails and cutting out the uh, mounting locations more than likely just to make this as open as possible uh, cutting out that and then i need i want to test this to see if it'll actually come close to wrapping around the j series because i'd like to use uh this you know area you know, loose this. that's the one i stripped i was telling you about um i would like to use this to try to have the rear mount for the uh 
the engine mount back here. And then if I can, you know, a front mount too, but you know, it's pretty, this is pretty small bracket or, you know, cross member for a J series more than likely because it's only meant for this tiny thing. So, you know, we'll have to see how it goes, but that's the plan right now. So if you like this video and you want to see where this keeps going, um, leave a like and a comment if you've done anything similar or have any suggestions. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.